The controversial procurement of the BVR kits continues to haunt current and former staff of the electoral body. Former IABC Chief Executive Officer James Oswago was the first to appear before Public Accounts Committee to explain why the commission allegedly opted to purchase an additional 4,000 kits arbitrarily. Even the Auditor General accepts that the decision was not made by the Secretariat or the Chief Executive Officer, but was made by the commission. As we go in step, step by step, yes. Mr. Swago, yeah. who was the chairperson of the commission that time? Isaac Hassan. Mr. Isaac Hassan. Yes. And this plenary decision was made in the context of a, a formal commission meeting. Absolutely formal. Not one meeting. There are both three meetings. I've never been involved with the with the with the chair. The commission has never involved itself with the with the with the vendor. But the minute we will get we will get. Yeah, I, I remember one one day when they yeah. came to present. Uh, but they will come in management. They don't come there on their own. When you have a meeting of the commission, management presents. And I think if you refer to those minutes properly, all of them, the full minutes, you realize that there was always a management paper, which came before a discussion was made. And if I recall. It was the meeting which say that there were actually about 4,000 uh, polling stations and not 5,000. And that there was no to increase that uh, 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 number. Allegations that the former chairperson Isaac Hassan denied when he appeared before the MPs. Oswago absolved himself from the scandal, saying he declined to pay the pending bill for supply of the air vid because the invoice had been inflated by 600 kids that were to be supplied as spare but were not supposed to be paid for. According to Oswago, the bill of 250 million shillings for the extra electronic voter identification kits was paid by suspended Chief Executive Officer Ezra Chiloba. When Chiloba appeared before the committee a fortnight ago, he attributed his decision to pay the pending bill to an advisory by Treasury's auditors. We are therefore urging the Auditor General to expedite the process and have the final report submitted to Parliament without further delay. This would enable us as a committee to delve into the matters of the accounts of 2016-17 in relation to the IBC.